Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this dog collar. Um, so this is Endless Falls pattern, or some people call this chainmail pattern. Um, and I've made it semi-adjustable. Um, so using a buckle and the D-ring in the middle. And it's about one and three quarters of an inches wide. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how I made this collar. Okay, so I'm using um, black and silver diamonds and black um, paracord. So I've got a 14 foot length of that, 16 foot of each black and silver, and an 18 foot strand. Okay, so you're going to need 14, 16 of two colours, and 18. And then for the um, for the main colour of black, I've got 24 feet, and I've just put the bee ring onto there all ready to go okay so the first thing you want to do is attach your cord to your buckle just bring it around your buckle and make a cow hitch and then what you want to do is just secure that uh, with another cow hitch so just get your cord go up to the up outside of the hitch you just made bring it through the buckle and back down through the loop there pull that through Pull all that cord through that just gives it a little bit extra security on the buckle and then you'll do the same on the other side get the cord put it up through the buckle again and then just bring it down through that loop there and just pull all that cord through. Now I need some kind of jig um, or some piece of wood with some nails in the end, whatever you've got. So you'll attach a buckle here. So once I'm at the starting point, okay, so the right hand strand is going to go across both of these strands. The left hand strand is going to come over the top of that strand. It's going to go underneath and back up through that loop there. Okay, and then now the left hand strand is going to go across. Then the right hand strand is going to go over that, under everything, and back up through the loop on the left hand side. That's just to get us started. And then you just might want to measure again here check that your measurements are right because sometimes when you do this you, you get a little bit out of whack with, your, with where you're at. So then you're going to just open up these two loops here and you're going to pull your two, your two colours that you've got. So in my case I've got um, black and black and silver diamonds. So that will go up through the one side of the loop and then down through the other loop. Pull that through till you get to the halfway point. So that you've got an even amount on each side and then you can tighten up those loops. And then you're ready to start. So I'm just going to get a little bit of micro cord here just to attach my work to hold it steady while I'm doing it. So I'm just going to tie that onto my nail there. And then that'll just slide out at the end. So your black cord, 
your main colour cord will come up through the centre and out to the opposite side. Okay, and then the other cord will also come up through the middle and come out to the opposite side. Okay, now I'm going to attach my longer piece of cord. This is going to be the centre strand. So I'm going to attach that to these two centre pieces. Okay, now I'm going to take one of these strands, uh, I might start with the black actually, and I'll come down, so this will come down through the centre, and then it'll come back up through the loop on the same side. Okay, and these colours are going to alternate, so the first time we'll do black, and then we do the next lot we'll do the diamonds. Okay, same on the right hand side, the black colour again. We'll come down through the centre and then we'll come underneath and back up the loop on the right on the same side. I might just turn the light on because I'm having a thunderstorm here. It's getting a bit dark. Okay, so tighten up those strands. Okay, so your bottom, your main colour strands are going to come up through the centre again and out to the opposite sides. Okay, now the centre strands are just going to go, okay, they're going to go over those centre black strands under and back up through the centre. Okay, and this time I'm going to bring the silver diamonds down through the centre, over, then under and back up through the loop on the left hand side. Okay, same on the right hand side, get the, the top strand, it's going to come down through the centre and then it'll come up out through the loop on the same side. Okay, so we tighten those up, tighten the centre strands. Everything's nice and firm. Okay, so the main colours come up through the centre and out the opposite sides again. Okay, your centre colours. Okay, come over so over the centers strands and then up through the middle Okay, so this time, so because we had the, the bottom colour last time, the top colour now is going to come down, which is the black. It's going to come over the centre strands, under and back up through that loop on the same side. OK, 
Okay, same on the other side. Okay, so the top colour, which is the black, is going to come down through the middle and then it'll come up through that loop on the same side. Okay, so we're going to tighten up all the strands. In the strands, the strands, and the center strands again. Okay, we'll start to see this pattern coming through. Okay, so the main blacks up through the centre, the opposite sides. Okay, your centres. Okay, they're going to go over those two centre strands, separate and up through the middle. Now the outside colours, I'll just tighten those up a little bit. Okay, so the outside colours, again they're going to come down through the centre and then they'll come back up, out that loop on the left hand side. That's one, same on the other side, the top the top strand comes down into the middle underneath and I'll go back out that loop there. Okay, tighten up the center strands. Again, you can see that pattern coming through there. Centre strands up through the middle, out to the opposite sides. The centre strands are going to come down over these black strands, under separate and up through the middle again. Okay, so this time the top cord, which is the black, comes down over the centre. and up through the loop on the same side. Okay, and then the top one on the other side comes down through the centre, underneath, and out through the loop on the same side. those up. Ok, 
Okay, so you'll keep repeating that pattern until you get down as far as you want to go for the adjustable section. And then we'll add in, add in the rest of the cords once we get there. Okay, so I've done as much as I want to do with my adjustable part. So now it's time to, put, to add in the other sections. You'll grab your short piece, your short strand now. So I'm just going to add that in beside the center strand. Okay, so you go back to your main pattern, which is your center strands up into the middle and out to the opposite sides. Your top strand on the outside goes down through the middle and up through the loop on the same side. Same over here. Into the middle and back up through the loop on the same side. Okay, so now with these, these strands in the middle, okay, so the left, all these strands are gonna go underneath and they're gonna come up to the left side. Okay, so that came over to the left side. The next strand, same thing, over, under, up to the left side of itself. Okay, so these are the ones that I've just added in. Over, under, up to the left side of itself. And so the last, so the last one comes down over, under, and out to the left side of itself. Okay, and we'll tighten up all the strands. We go back to the center strands up through the middle and out to the opposite sides. Okay, the top one on the side comes down through the middle and back up out through the loop on the same side. Same on this side, the top strand comes down under and back out the same side. Okay, so this time your center strands are going to come out to the right side. So over, under, and up out the right side. Next one, over, under, back up out the right side. over, under, about the right side. Over, under, and up out the right side. Okay. Tighten up your strands again. Center strands up through the middle, out to the opposite sides. Top strand on the side comes down, back up out the 
take out the same side loop. Other top strand down into the middle, under and back out the side loop. Okay, this time the centre strands are going to go over under and up to the left side of themselves. up to the left side and again over under up to the left side Center strands up through the middle out to the opposite side. Top strand comes down out the same side. Top strand comes down back up through the same side. Loop. Okay, so last time they came up the left side, so this time they'll come up the right side. So you alternate left and right each, each time. Okay. Over, under, back up the right side. Over, under. Up the right side. Tighten up everything. Okay, so keep going with that pattern until you get to where you're going to put your dog collar, uh, sorry, your, um, your D-ring in. Okay, so I'm ready to um, put the D-ring at this point here. So I'm just going to make sure I'll just go up through the centre with the, the main strands first, out to the opposite sides. Okay, so now the top strand is going to come through the middle, over, under, and back up the loop. Actually, over, under, back up the loop, out the same side. Again, with the top strand, over, actually, I'll bring that through, sorry, bring that through the middle, over under and back out the same side through that loop okay and then I'm just going to bring all of these strands through the middle of the D-ring okay so they were coming up to the right side last time so this time they'll come up to the left side okay so they'll go over, under, and up to the left side. Same again with all four centre strands. Up to the left side. Up 
and just tighten those up. Okay, so that's your D-ring on, and then you just keep going along with the rest of your collar as normal. Okay, so center strands up through the middle. Top cord down through the middle, out to the same side. Strand down through the middle, out the same side. Okay, and just keep going on with the rest of your collar, just like you did before. And that's got your D ring in place now. Okay, so I'm getting down towards the end, and I'm just going to, for the last couple of inches, I'm just going to use the center two strands again like I did at the beginning so that just tapers off a little bit still side cords come down but yeah just these two center ones just to make it a little bit easier when you get down towards the buckle Okay, so I've got to the end now and I'm just going to put these two strands through the buckle. Just to kind of finish that off a bit more securely. And I'll bring those two strands back up through the middle. Just the same way that we were doing it at the last couple of inches. I'm just going to cut off the end and put that into a fit. So I'm just going to weave this back through the collar. So just weave it backwards and forwards as many times as you feel you'd like that to be. And then 
we can cut that off and melt it. You can either leave that loose or you can push that push that onto there, whatever your preference is. And the same with all your cords, you just cut them, weave, uh, sorry, you weave them through, cut them, melt them until you've got them all done. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Zelda, go away. Zelda.